because uh, next one you go attack that Kimura grip again. But in some situations, before the way we did is when it's really tight, you know, you practice from here. Really tight, I control and go all this thing. Now you go practice sometimes when it be a little bit more loose, you know, the position is not really tight, it's common. And I have the Kimura, you have a lot of space. You know, and I can now right side jump for past the guard. So my idea is I try put his in the ground again and I right start jump to that side again. So my, my goal is keep that grip here, the, the Kimura, and stretch my arm. Because if he stay in that position, of course I just come back and we do the technique we did. Yeah. If he stand for that that side, I mock him, he's no he cannot do it. And I can start follow him. And I can do like for that configuration, for example, and attack again. And then another option is, is maybe more obvious, the guy start facing me and try to move to that side, yeah. So now I need to keep like that arm straight. And when he give me that gap is when I go put my knee. Okay, we start to take the back. And you have like the configuration you had before to attack the back. You can attack around the kimura, the arm, the arm bar and everything, okay? It's just more one way when it's more loose, I cap it. Or even with the, that situation, I go here, I just jump. Okay, I get here, it doesn't matter because I not lock my legs, more open like that way. So I just go that and jump to the side. Okay, and now the guy go react, okay? If he stay there, I just come, see how I can lock in the top and go again. But normally the guy comes from that side, okay? The more common way, the guy starts escape from that side. So this is why it's important, like I keep that arm straight and I follow him, he starts walking, I follow him in his back. And see that gap when I put my knee and I like put one hook, and I already have the control, okay? From here you can do like the same way you did before, you can change shoot the back to the arm bar and you do all the combination you did. Okay, until you feel more comfortable when you can bend even for him, okay? I go around, jump, and pass that way. So he still go past my guard. Just move my hip and keep it. Follow, good, okay? Do close first, and after you start, have like distance and jump. So this is why it's important to understand the way to lock the arm, the way you trained before, okay? Have really good control, and after you jump, okay? So change your partner.